very busy right now. I've got a million things to organize for the celebration. Why, that's exactly why I'm here. With everything you have to worry about, I thought you might need a little help with your outfit for the occasion. I'm a seamstress, you might say. What a fabulous cape. Look at those eyes and that lovely purple-blue complexion. With a little work, you could be a knockout. For sure, please. I'm not one of those vain blueberries who only thinks of our appearance. <laughs> A knockout? <laughs> Do you really think? Absolutely. Please come in. And you know, there's no harm in wanting to look your best. After all, you represent all of Bumbleburg. You owe it to your citizens to appear fabulous at all times. Well, I suppose. If you put it that way. <laughs> Oh, how lovely. That's amazing. It almost looks like you can walk right in. Oh, but you can. Go ahead. Walk right in. What a marvelous dress. I love the color. Is that crimson? It's more of a scarlet. <laughs> is somewhere inside this mansion, Master Larry. We can be certain the Bad Apple has placed numerous traps to stop you. Please, watch your step. I will, Alfred. Let's find the mayor. You're going to have to do a lot of exploring to find out how to get through here, Master Larry. Feels right back at him! It's your worthy bird ability! Oh no! than what we perceive. Then I better not leave, but I cannot conceive of a way of escaping before New Year's Eve. If you want to receive any clues to achieve... Alfred, I have 
I... I don't know. That was a bit odd now, wasn't it? I'll just look for a hit. Bad Apple wants to deceive with some tricks on Now don't start that, Master May. into a powerful source of energy. This cake weighs a ton. Electricity!
Thank you. 